Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we have a question here that has to do with calculation of transmissivity and storativity of a confined aquifer. So the question is, a productive well pump water from a confined aquifer at a constant rate of 25.0 liters per second. The drawdown in two piezometers located 30.0 meters and 40.0 meters apart from the well are 4.0 meters and 2.0 meters respectively. Assuming the aquifer to be 35.0 meters thick. Number one, we uh, illustrate the information with the aid of a diagram. Two, calculate the transmissivity of the aquifer. Three, determine the storativity of the aquifer. So before we continue, let us briefly review some of the terms that I use in this question so that we can better understand the problem. So we have a confined aquifer. This is an aquifer that is sandwiched between two aquiclude or aquitaine. Pisometer, which is also known as an observation well, is a non-pumping well that is used to measure the elevation of the water table or potential metric surface. Transmissivity is a rate at which water is transmitted through a unit width of an aquifer or a confining buried under a unit hydraulic gradient. Lastly, we have a storativity. Storativity of a confined aquifer or aquitaine is defined as the volume of water released from storage by unit surface area of the aquifer or aquitaine by unit decline in hydraulic head. So without further ado, let's uh, go straight to question number one, which asks us to illustrate the information with the aid of a diagram. So as you can see, I've already drawn the diagram here in order to save time. So here is a confined aquifer, and this is the thickness of the aquifer, which is B. And uh, we have here the, the ground level or the ground surface. And uh, also, this is the test well or the penetrated well. And uh, the piezometers or the observation wells, which is observation well 1 and observation well 2. And also, we have the... Uh, this uh, cone of depression. As water is being uh, withdrawn from the test well, it results, uh, results to the formation of a cone of depression. And also, the maximum distance from the test well at which uh, the effects of pumping is being felt or are felt is uh, known as uh, the radius of influence which is R, or in other words, you say that uh, R is the horizontal distance from the center line of the test well to the center line of the observation wells. So we have R1 and R2, and also S, which is uh, the drawdown. S is the, is the difference between the initial steady water table and the pumping water level. So we have X1 for observation well 1 and S2 for observation well 2. So we also have H, which is the head. And uh, we have these arrows here, which are pointing towards the, the test well, uh, represent uh, the, you know, a steady radial flow in the, in the well. So, uh, Let's move uh, to the next question, which is uh, number two. Question number two asks us to calculate the transmissivity of the aquifer. So in order to calculate the transmissivity of the aquifer, we are going to, we are going to make use of uh, terms formula. Thames formula is used to calculate the discharge, uh, to calculate discharge in a confined aquifer 
for a steady radial flow. So the formula is given as C equals Q over 2 pi x1 minus x2 ln of r2 over r1. Remember that ln of x equals 2.03 log base 10 of x. So if we substitute this into this, we will get something like this uh, uh, Q or 2 pi x 1 minus x 2 2.3 Zero three log base ten of R two over R one. So in order to simplify this formula, let's rearrange it. So we have a Q two point three zero three log base 10 of R2 over R1 divided by 2 pi S1 minus S2. This is the formula that we are going to use to calculate the transmissivity of the aquifer. From the equation, uh, T is what we are looking for, while Q, which is the, the rate of discharge, is given us. Q is given us uh, 25.0 liters per second. Y, the radius of influence, is given as 30.0 meters for R1 and 40.0 meters for R2. And the drawdown for the two observation wells are given as uh, 4.0 meters for X1 and 2.0 meters for S2. So we have Q as uh, 25.0 liters per second. R1 is 30.0 meters. R2 is giving us 40.0 meters. Y X1 is giving us 4.0 meters. And S2 is giving us uh, 2.0 meters. So before we substitute the following values into the formula, first we are going to convert uh, 25.0 liters per second to to either meter cube per hour or meter cube per day. If we want our final answer to be in meter cube per hour, then we can convert it to meter cube per hour. But if we want our final answer to be in meter cube per day, then we convert it to meter cube per day. In, in this case, I'm going to convert it to meter cube per hour. So let's uh, convert it. We have uh, 25 liters over you know, seconds. 
multiply by you know one meter cube equals uh, 1,000 liters times 3,000 seconds 3,600 seconds is equivalent to one hour so second we cancel second and uh, liters we cancel liters so we'll be left with a uh, meter cube per hour so let's multiply 25 by 3600 divided by 1000 we have a 90 meter cube per hour so so conversion of uh, 25.0 liters per second to meter cube per hour is 90 so now let's substitute uh, the above values into the formula. So we have uh, Q, which is uh, 90 meter cube per hour times 2.030 log of base 10, base 10 of uh, of R2, R2 which is uh, 40 over R1 which is uh, 30 in meters. Two multiply by pi times uh, x x1 which is giving us uh, 4 minus s2 which is uh, 2 in meters so these meters will cancel out as we have a we have a 90 meter cube per hour times 2.303 log by 10 of so 40 divided by 30 equals uh, 1.333, which is uh, a recurring decimal number. So over 2. Two times uh, pi. Remember the pi is uh, equal to three point one four two times uh, four minus two is uh, two. So next, uh, let's uh, multiply the numerator. I mean, let's uh, find the log of one point three three log of uh, 1.33 so let's say 90 meter cube per hour times 2.303 times 0 point, 0 point, well, 0.124938 so Zero point one two four nine three eight four nine three eight three eight uh, seven three seven three over so we have a uh,
2 multiplied by 3.142 times 2 is equal to 12.56. So we have um, 90 times 2.303 times 0 0.1243. Nine, three, eight, seven, three. So, it's equal to uh, twenty-five point eight eight nine six zero five five zero. Five six seven one over twelve point five six. So let's divide it by twelve point five six. So our final answer is a uh, two point zero. zero six two meter cube remember we have meter cube per hour here so meter cube per hour so this is our final answer in meter cube per hour but uh, if you want uh, your answer to be in meter cube per day you can also convert this to meter cube per day so let me show you how to convert this to meter cube per day. We have 2.062 meter cube per hour. So in order to convert this to meter cube per day, we say that uh, 2.062 meter cube per hour multiply by since our uh, 24 hours you know equals uh, one day so uh, this hour we cancel this hour so we'll be left with meter cube per day so let's uh, multiply uh, let's multiply 2.062 by 24 So our final answer is uh, 49.48 meter cube per day. This is the, uh, the final answer in meter cube per day. And uh, this is the this is the final answer, the final answer in meter cube per hour. Both of them are correct.